U2 is on the stage in Paris performing at this hour. It's a performance that was delayed by the deadly terrorist attacks in the French capital. The band vowed, though, they would return to perform, and now they have. Tashana Reed is here with more. U2 has been quite defiant about their stance uh, on these attacks in Paris. Can you give us the backstory? Well, Asha, we can get uh, some fresh reports. Uh, we're learning that Bono walked on stage and he said, Vive la France. And uh, he said, if you love liberty, Paris is your hometown. He went on to say, we can't save you, but our prayer tonight is to be useful to you this evening, referring, referencing the crowd. Uh, he's at the stadium. There are about uh, 20,000 seats in that stadium. And judging by some of the photos we're seeing on Twitter, it's a full house. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's definitely... Definitely an emotional night. Uh, of course, the band was supposed to perform there the weekend of the Paris attacks. They canceled those shows uh, immediately after, and they actually went to pay their respects that same weekend, uh, laying flowers on site. And uh, they've been very, you know, outspoken about uh, what, and there's a photo of, of them right there, uh, outspoken about the terrorism and, and uh, what this does. But they also uh, have talked about the resiliency of Paris. Uh, members of the band have also spoken, well, Bono had spoken with members of uh, the metal band that was performing, Eagles of Death Metal. And he's also written a new song that he said was inspired by the events in Paris. Uh, the song is called Streets of Surrender, and they'll, of course, be performing that at the concert. Now, there was a rumor that you 2 would team up with uh, the band that was performing at the Bataclan, but uh, that is not true. But they did say that they would have a surprise guest to perform with them tonight in Paris. Uh, it's unclear who that might be, but earlier this week, uh, Bono, in an interview actually with New York Times, uh, said this. He said, ISIS and these kinds of extremists are a death cult. We're a life cult. Rock and roll is a life force, and it's joy as an act of defiance. That's what U2 is. That's at the very heart of our band. More importantly in this case, it's the very heart of our audience. I can now already hear that we will be drowned out by that French crowd, and that's powerful and this is just one of two concerts the second being tomorrow uh, and that will actually broadcast on HBO at nine o'clock. We know 89 people were killed at the Bataclan nightclub. It has a, a long history of arts and music. What do we know about the future of this nightclub? Well right now uh, the club is of course closed but the owner has said that they will reopen and they plan to. They don't want this to uh, you know basically shut down what they've been doing all these years. Eagles of Death Metal, the band that was performing the night of the attack, said that they want to be the first band to step back on stage and uh, as you can imagine it, it must be a terrifying thing, thing for those band members uh, but uh, essentially the, the manager of the Bataclan said they will not surrender into this fear and that terrorism is is, is supposed to bring about. Uh, so again, there's no set date. Uh, this was a major crime scene. I'm sure there are a lot of things that will have to be put into place before they reopen their doors, but they said that it will happen one day. We'll be able to watch a concert in the future. So um, a lot, but uh, you two wowing the crowd, I'm sure right now it'll be a very emotional night and it'll be interesting to see who they bring out as a special guest. We'll be watching for that. Thanks, Tashana. You're welcome, Asha.